again welcome to my channel competitive exam warriors so in today's topic i'll be going to discuss with all of you regarding job profile of ldc come deo okay and as usual this will be presented by me this educator shovik maitra now let's proceed further now as you know if you have seen my early lessons regarding matching my section life cleared i was pure 2017 i was so that is specialist officer and also various sc exams if you are new to my channel then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get updated to my latest videos now since this related to ssc as well obviously my target audience will be those people who have cleared descriptive exam that is i mean type 2 because then only you will be eligible for skill test and eventually after that all this lessons come that is today's lesson regarding obviously job profile of ldc and teo that is low division clerk and data entry operator now let's discuss something regarding this code that is if you're going to take an academies plus option courses i think definitely you must take because is the high time that you should take such courses where india's top educators are currently teaching since there is lockdown due to lockdown eventually you can't go outside and take your offline classes or your teachers can come to your home so it's best if you can do online learning and it's easy to learn from this on academy educators if you have got any doubt you can directly ask from them no problem as such and definitely you will be assigned mock tests every week or maybe every month and if you use this code PLUSR4SV then you will be getting flat 10% off on any on academy plus seven courses any category be it UPSC be it SSC be it banking be it railways everywhere you will getting flat 10% off and if you use on academy learning credits then you will be getting another flat 10% off okay so that's what i need to discuss over here now let's come straight to today's topic that is job profile of ldc and data entry operator let's first of all discuss regarding your division clerk that is ldc first of all whenever we get to know about the salary we get motivated but here that's not the case of motivation because salary of ldc is quite low but still it's a central government job and eventually you will not remain in clerk obviously you will improve position from here through promotions promotion facilities all will discussed over in this particular lesson now first of all let's know its grade pay it's 1900 gp okay so here you get to know that is the gp is 1900 and it's level 2 index 1 because there is a chart actually payment matrix so i'll get to know regarding level 1 level 2 index all these things you just not keep in mind while doing preparation or especially during dv whenever you join the services you will get to know eventually now let's know something regarding basic pay basic pay of ldc is 19900 Three percent increment every year onwards. That is, next year basic pay will twenty thousand five hundred. Next year it will be twenty one thousand one hundred, and so on. And fitful factor is two point five seven. All these things you just don't need to know at this juncture of time. Now let's come to other aspects. That is, the salary in X city it is around twenty one thousand gross. Y city is twenty seven k gross, and Z city is twenty five k gross. Now regarding X Y city, mainly X cities are metropolitan cities like Kolkata, Chennai, Bangalore, Mumbai, and so on. Y cities and Z list you can eventually get if you search online. You will get to know which are Y and Z cities. And uh, salary obviously will differ from X to Z because there are differences in HRA. Okay, so definitely there will be differences in gross pay. Eventually discuss all these things in my later slides. now let's move forward now let's discuss regarding the job profile of ldc first of all its workload is extremely low definitely we guess from the salary itself this workload will be less compared to postal assistant and court clerk and do where you have to know much skills more and obviously you need to work hard also generally in case of ldc the job profile is obviously simple you need to do basic tasks like data diary manual entering and all and some works of do may also be assigned to you some computer tasks may also be there but they are extremely simple and not much time consuming also definitely you will be getting enough time to do higher studies no problem as such promotion scope is also good which i will eventually discuss in my another lesson i have 
dedicated an entire lesson towards LDC's duties while discussing details what exactly an LDC needs to do during his office hours. And let's present a chart of tasks you need to perform. Let's go to the next slide. First of all, what you need to do, like here I have mentioned over here, you need to do data entry. Definitely, it's the task of an LDC also, and D also you need to data entry. You may need to perform the salary of office employees. Like you, no need to the pay matrix over there. Like a pay fixation is not your duty, but generally what happens if you need to, if your bill is given to you by your senior account accountant, you need to assign a token to it and then just hand over the hard copy of the bill to the dealing hand. That is obviously it will be again another senior accountant. Next, uh, sending and obtaining files from higher officials. So if you obtain a file from higher officials to mail, you need to follow with it and forward it to concerned dealing hand. These things you may need to do, like sending and receiving of emails will be a part of your curriculum activities. Then typing of official letters, notice, notifications and other official documents may need to be done. Okay. So there are not such specific tasks an LDC can perform. He can do any task if assigned, but obviously it will lower level, not of a high level and it will be a, a responsible task but not of a high highly what to say highly important tasks just like responsible tasks assigned to senior accountant accountant it will be of a lower level task now let's uh, move forward now let's discuss something regarding the promotion structure i will talk in respect of cga that is controller general of accounts now first of all uh, i'm assuming that you've assumed the service of ldc and you have worked over here for at least five years generally ldc service is all over india but in five years seldomly you will get transferred now assuming that you have already worked for uh, five long years then definitely you will be eligible for the post of accountant subject to passing the departmental exam obviously and your grade pay will be elevated from 1900 grade pay to 2800 grade pay that's it over here now next promotion after if you worked over here for three long years that is three years of continuous service in the post accountant then you will be eligible for senior accountant that will be around 4200 grade pay next promotion will be of w that is of assistant accounts officer and after working for three years in cj department you will be eligible to sit for double o exam which is said to be assistant accounts officer and it's a group b gadget officer post so it's an important post. You can understand the importance of gadget label post and it will be group B. You need to clear departmental exam for that, which will consist of eight papers. Details of this paper will be discussed by me in some of the later lessons. If only I get enough audience, enough audience, dedicated audience, who actually we need to know regarding these eight papers. Then I'll discuss detail regarding syllabus and all the eight papers in general. What are they? how you need to study all we discuss in details in some later lessons if I get adequate audience for that. Now suppose you remain in W for 4 long years then your grade period will automatically be elevated to 5400 GP. Now the next uh, promotions will be done on seniority basis like AO, accounts officer, then senior row which is now group A gadgeted officer and so on. Now let's uh, move forward. Now let's discuss something regarding lower division clerk work profile again. First of all, already said that less time to workload like shift timings will be from 9.30 am to 5.30 pm. In between there will be half an hour of lunch break. Next obviously if you join as LDC definitely will be promoted to accountant senior accountant and it's a good scope that you retire at any official level. At least if you can reach double by the age of 50 at least you will retire as an EO that is accounts officer. Generally, you will have a five day working that is Saturday, Sunday will be fixed off. But in some offices like MES, Major Engineering Services, there is a half day working in Saturday as far as I know. Okay. Now, let's discuss something regarding the drawbacks of LDC job profile. Obviously, every job comes with its drawbacks and advantages. So, definitely, there is drawback of LDC. First of all, obviously, salary has already said it's quite low compared to postal assistant, shorting assistant or data entry operator. Next, uh, generally 90% of the time we will be getting home posting. At least the girls will definitely have the advantage of getting home posting. Depending upon the vacancy of your department and obviously based on main basis that is the rank provided by SSC. 
Now suppose if you get FHQ that is army headquarters then mostly 90% of the time you will be getting posting in Delhi only. Okay. Now let's discuss the other part of this lesson that is regarding job profile of DO that is data entry operator. First of all in order to pass the DO you need a high typing speed that is 50 WPM. And you must be knowing the typing speed of LDC and others like post assistant, shorting assistant is only 35 WPM. Now it will not work in case of DO, you need at least 50 WPM speed over there. Secondly, DO workload and profile is obviously superior to LDC. And another important thing like in order to pass DO exam, you need to qualify the tier 2 with good marks. Like suppose the cutoff for the last years I think for the what to say postal shorting assistant and LDC for typing I mean it was around 195 I think but for DO it was around 210 so you need to get a higher marks in order to sit for the skill test assigned for data entry operator exam okay that I was saying over there now let's move forward like uh, something we need to talk regarding data entry operator obviously just like I've talked regarding LDC First of all, the tasks uh, that may be assigned to you as a data entry operator, like you need to handle government's huge amount of client data of different organizations, there is a different ministries working over there. It is the responsibility of you, that is, as a data entry operator, to safeguard them against all kinds of frauds. Next, the work of a DO in general may apply as usual, like data entry, that is, maintaining Excel sheets, maintaining data, so you need to type a lot, and maintaining updating the servers on a daily basis. Next, DO must have good knowledge in computers and office skills. You need to open up the server and you need to close it at the right amount of time. You need to do a lot of tasks like you need to do a lot of typing computers like typing of notices, typing of official letters, sending mails, receiving them, informing of your higher officials regarding the mails which you have received from your supervisors and all that. You need to have notes and sometimes you need to collect reports also. Sometimes you need to do scanning also like some reports you need to scan and immediately send it through mail or through fax to other departments or to your office headquarters. Maybe you're sitting in Kolkata, you need to send a email immediately to the headquarters. What you need to do? You need to type the letter, you need to sign it from a senior accounts officer, then you need to scan the letter and then you just could fax it and nowadays it's better than you send through email writing letters to different officials and various other things that you need to do as a data entry operator. Now let's move forward. Now let's discuss something regarding the advantages and drawbacks of data interpreter as a whole. Like data interpreter generally gets posted in urban areas. Generally I mean it's not the case always but generally mostly. Obviously they are requiring more computer skills than LDC. They might be competent enough in Excel, PowerPoints and all that. Generally PowerPoints are not used in computer offices but obviously there is the use of Excel sheets because in accounts and all that you need NPS updation, pension updation, all where you are requiring high computer skills. And um, you need to do data entry jobs at a faster rate. That's why your typing test is high. There is a 50 WPM. For DO, previously, I think uh, from 2070, 16 onwards, sorry, it was increased 50 WPM, but up to CSL 15 exam, it was 27 WPM only. So, in order to achieve this memo speed, in order to achieve this high speed, obviously, you need to practice daily. You need to learn touch typing, two finger typing, we not simply do. And you need to practice daily at least for three to four hours, and that two for one a month. Then only your speed will increase and reach 50 WPN. And as I've already advised, you need to practice a lot from hard printed materials. You can get this from V1 Sorma and other anywhere, okay, whatsoever. And obviously, as I already said in some of my earlier slides, like the marks qualified, required to qualify to a DO skill test is also quite high. And salary of DO is 2400 grade pay, that is similar to PSA already said. And uh, regarding the exact salary structure I have discussed in my earlier video that is of PSA, you can watch out for that. So you get to know regarding the exact salary, cross structure and all that, HRA, T and everything I have discussed in details in my earlier slides. So you get to know about the exact salary of DO over there. Regarding LDC, the salary at present rate, in fact calculating 17% uh, DA, which the government is currently providing, it's around 29k in metro cities, okay. Considering the current DA and subtracting the CGHS, PTAX and all that, you'll be getting around 29k, not exactly, it will be around 28 point something, around 29k 
that's in hand i'm not talking gross is in hand gross will be more than 35k i'm talking regarding ldc and do is also just like ldc is a pan india job so coming to an end of this particular lesson if you happen to like my lesson please don't forget to give it a thumbs up share this with your friends as much as possible and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and also don't forget to hit the like button and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so let's meet in the next lesson till time stay tuned god bless you all